Next tonight, Look East has been given exclusive access to Essex Police's Marine Unit, the only one of, the, of its kind in the region. It's taking part in a Europe-wide operation, boarding ships looking for illegal activity or migrants on board. Our reporter Debbie Tubby and cameraman Jamie Niblock spent a day with them as they patrolled the sea from Burnham on Crouch down to the Thames estuary. This is effectively a police beat on water, patrolling the second longest coastline in the country, covering 562 miles of waterways. This has a top speed of 56 knots. That's equivalent to 64 miles per hour, and it can be used in any weather conditions. Only a handful of police forces in the country have a special marine unit. Go far. No, no, we have come out of this marina. Yeah. It emerges they're just on a day trip. Essex Police Rib Sentinel. We're just by the Montgomery wreck at the moment in the Thames. The Marine Unit has the power to check not only small boats but also large ships. Do you think they're going to want to stop though? They won't stop, but you can do it on the trans on the move. They have no intelligence to say this cruise ship in the Thames estuary is carrying anyone illegally, but as part of a Europe wide operation, they're checking security on as many vessels as possible. Just wondering whether it would be in order for us just to uh, come alongside your pilot door and uh, put a couple of officers aboard. Okay, I will inform the captain and uh, can you just stand by 06 and I'll let you know. They wouldn't normally board a moving cruise ship unless it was an emergency. We look for any signs of modern day slavery, um, see if they've got any information they might be able to pass us about where they've come from and any concerns they've had on the way over there, any suspicious activity. They have to travel at the same speed as the cruise ship to be able to get on board. We have to match it, lock the boat onto the side. The ladder is lowered, they're given permission to go on board. Any concerns you might have picked up on or been aware of as you come over? I think you come from France, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we're coming from France. They're taken up to the bridge. This ship's voyage with a thousand passengers on board includes the Seychelles and Iceland. It plans to dock in the Thames estuary for the night. Do you have any issues at the ports when you're on the, the continent with okay people and, uh, trying to yeah, get on the ship? Some fences or yeah. holerans, or... The check takes only minutes. Thank you. They disembark. The cruise ship's journey isn't disrupted. Talk about dock security while they were in France and on the continent just to see whether there'd been any risk to people getting aboard it shouldn't be. They not only board commercial boats but constantly look for illegal activity, even on these, the Mansell forts, built to deter German forces and defend our coastline. They're just checking out these World War II forts to make sure there's no one on them because that's what's happened in the past. During lockdown, a group from Manchester became marooned on these eight miles offshore. Their boat drifted out to sea. The marine unit came to their rescue. We've just spotted this vessel that's coming into the Thames estuary. Um, we did some checks and we can see that it's come round from Portsmouth and come out via the main shipping channel. Yeah, it's OK. Thank you. They want to check it didn't pick up anyone on route. Oh, yeah, you're all right. Oh, don't fry, be frightened, no. Any issues at all, any problems? None at all. No, no nothing in the channel, any concerns or anything like that? Or... No. no. It's all legal. The yacht has been delivered to the West India docks in London. <laughs> this patrol, assigned to keep our coastline safe, may not have found marine crime, migrants or missing people today, but they never know what criminals or weather conditions they might have to face. Debbie Tubby, BBC Lookeast, on the Thames Estuary.